Hey, hey, it's NY Hunter. Thanks for joining me this time in the corner of my kitchen for a little look at my uh, new watch. Actually, the last couple weeks I've been using this um, Amaze Fit GTR 4, and I've been using this because uh, I got tired of my Apple watch and I never really liked it. I hate square watches. I came from the time of um, the time of G-Shocks, so I'm used to uh, watches that are kind of tough and able to go underwater. This one can go underwater, but uh, not to the, I think it's 50 meters or something like that, which is all right for the general use, you know? And they say the same thing about the Apple Watch, so, um, you know, uh, for that part, it's about the same, but it's all about the style with me and this watch. Um, I really do dig it. I actually, liked the Apple wristbands though. So I'll have you know that I did buy three wristbands that look like the Apple ones and the Apple mechanism. So yeah, I think I have gray, black, and um, blue. And then the screen looks a little funny because I do have a screen saver or a screen protector on top. Um, it's one of those plastic ones and um, not glass. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit dirty, but uh, also, um, so far I've found, like I've had this for a few weeks and it really saves the screen many times. <laughs> I have two kids now and so I end up um, hitting the watch face on a whole bunch of things from doors to walls to corners. So, um, but yeah, like I said, this is the, oops, this is the face that I prefer most of the time uh, at night, actually. It's not bright. It gives me the information I need, and even the numbers are dark blue, so it doesn't wake me up, uh, or doesn't wake anybody else up. Um, let's see, they do have uh, the heart rate tracker and everything in the back, and it seems to do a great job. I usually run Run Keeper when I do my exercises along with the tracking here, and um, yeah, it, uh, the, they're only a couple steps apart most of the time, so I think that's really good. Um, let's see, if we go to the right, you can find weather, and uh, that will tell you more information as you slide down. Everything, this watch is from Asia, so something weird that you have to get used to, I'm already used to it because I'm Chinese, but um, is the highs are at the bottom and the lows are at the top. Um, so that is something different. Um, let's see, we can swipe back and we can go to sleep also and steps. These are the same three uh, things that are tracked in the Apple Watch, stand, steps, and exercise minutes. Today is a Saturday and today I have my baby uh, alone, <laughs> alone. So I've had to track her meals and her naps. So I haven't been able to do much other than that. I hope to exercise later though. Um, as we keep going, we have this PAI score, which is supposed to be which is supposed to tell you your overall health and such. So I like using it. I don't know how reliable it is, but I do like it. And um, let's see, heart rate, um, world times, um, stress level. And you can dig into each one of these actually. And um, I guess I've been pretty relaxed most of the time, which is great. Um, let's see, yeah, hopefully it's clear. I just noticed that it wasn't as clear as it could be. Um, as we go, like there's more stats here, and then we can swipe backwards to the main menu. Uh, next alarm is Monday. Oh, I gotta turn that off because it's Martin Luther King Day. So uh, yeah, gotta turn my Monday alarms off. Uh, so a lot of features here, um, calendar, and then you get this. Oh, this watch works with Alexa, not Siri. So, <laughs> and anyway, my household is an Alexa household. So. Um, this is really good. When I need to turn on and off my kids' heaters, when I need to change the temperature of the thermostat, when I need to un unlock and lock the doors, I can use this watch. I can hit it um, and then, well, let's try it. Um, shall we ask for the time, <laughs> even though it's a watch? What time is it? It's 3.57 p.m. Mm -hmm. So you see, um, it works great. I, I prefer this over Siri actually now that I've used this watch for a while. Uh, so really good stuff. And that's the last card. 
uh, over here. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, we do have, for with the swipes, we have uh, main information we can get to from pressing this button. We can go to workouts, workouts. sun and moon for sunsets and uh, sunrise and moon set and moonrise and all that good stuff. Tides, a swipe back, and you can go to all this other stuff. Um, really good. I, I gotta say, compared to my old Apple Watch 7, the usage is really smooth and I really like it. There's only two buttons, this one and this one. And this one I've chained to a timer because I gotta time a lot of things from lunch to <laughs> yeah, lunch for work to my time when I need to have my kids do things, um, TV time, things like that. So that really helps. And then I can press this, of course, and uh, use Alexa to uh, set a timer as well. And it will ring off of this instead of uh, the other uh, echoes around the house. So it's really good, I gotta say. Um, let's see... There's so much to say about this, I'll probably have to make another video, but uh, something else I'll leave you with too is I'll share a couple of menu screens uh, on the Zep app on my iPhone, which is really great too, lots of great information. And like I said, I'll just show you a couple of awesome watch faces too. Uh, so this is one I prefer for night. This one, I just, I don't know, I've been in a purplish mood, so I've been using this more the last couple days and I really like it but you can see it's the end of the line here so it's the last one I found and all these are free by the way uh, neon and this has been my favorite lately um, I think it's called suns or circles or globes or something but there's so much information here and I love data so there's a lot of good info there um, from heart rate to uh, power left in the watch to weather and um, yeah, good stuff. And then sunrise and sunset too. Um, yeah, but I'll show you a couple more just because it's kind of fun. Um, oh, th this one is power intensive, but let's see, is this the one I like? No, it's the one that's a glow that goes around in circles. Um, this one, it's funny, some web, uh, some displays are a little bit broken and I don't know when they get fixed or how, but for example, I really like this face and I still use it sometimes. But um, like you'll see here, oops, um, you'll see here it's supposed to show the steps in, a, in white and it's never shown that, I don't know why. But I just like all the meters and all the ways you can follow along your information. Oh, this one, it's power intensive, but I really like this one too. There's a little circle that goes around like that, like a marble, and uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I think two more if I can. Um, this has been one of my favorites over here. Um, not this one here, it's called fashion, uh, and I'm not that fashionable. You'll always, you know, most of the time see me in black, but I really like this face once again a lot of data but a lot of nice colors too it just looks really cool and the one that I started out with that I I just love to death is this one it's just black and white um, and then I think the red around it is the stand hours but I just really am in love with that face um, I really like it a lot it's ever so clear and um, the data that I want is there so really good stuff but like I said, right now, um, lately I've been in a purplish mood, so let's get back to that purple one um, at the end of the line. You can see how many faces I've played with. And yeah, they're all free. There are They do sell them also. Uh, some are 99 cents to $1.99 to $2.99. Um, and um, they look and they look a little bit better. Uh, a lot of, some of them have tons more data on this little screen and uh, for me I'm tempted to get them because of that uh, but yeah I really I just really like it and uh, like I said it's circle uh, which is good for me and it's comfortable uh, more comfortable with these Apple like bands um, and then oh yeah there's a quick release too I can tell you about that where you just press this button and then it comes off like so, 
And then when you want to put it back on, you just find the hole, put one side through, press this button, and get it back in. And it's pretty stable and it's uh, pretty tough. So I think that there's not much to worry about there. Um, another thing about this watch I can tell you is it's not super expensive. Uh, I got it on sale for $150, but I think the regular price is around $200. And so, you know, um, for a watch like that, some folks um, may not even care to protect the screen. <laughs> Once it scratches up too much, just buy a new one. But for me, I kind of, I, I like to protect that screen and get that clear view when I look at it. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. It's at about the 10 minute mark. So I wanted to show this off and tell you guys a little bit more about it. Uh, the Amaze Fit GTR4. And like I said, uh, the health tracking compared to the Apple Watch seems to be just as good. And um, compared to RunKeeper, uh, its own tracking program is really good as well. All right, um, I'll leave you with a couple of images of the app at the end. Um, yeah, leave me some comments. Uh, please like, please subscribe. If you'd like to uh, support me, go to Patreon. Uh, the link will be below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, just another cool piece of tech I wanted to share. All right, uh, talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.